What's going on guys? It's Matt with No BS Beard Reviews. Now just as the title mentioned, I'm going to talk to you about the strongest scented beard products I have tried to date. These things are so strong. This is like that Jackie Chan, whoopow, when you walk into a room. These things are so strong and that company is Sphinx Beard. And so Sphinx Beard has some of the strongest scented products I have ever tried. Now, that's good and bad at the same time, and we'll get into that here shortly when we talk about the different scents, but let's first talk about packaging. All of their beard oils come in this nice, hard, I mean, this is quality. This is embossed silver on these like matte black boxes. There's definitely some money into this. You can see the presentation there. They got the beard oil, these nice little hang tags for the actual oil. It comes in that kind of squarish bottle. And then the beard balms come the exact same way. Nice little packaging there. Got some crinkle cut black paper. And so the oils each go for $24.99. So 25 bucks for a one ounce oil. You've also got 25, what is it? $18.99 to $21.99, depending on the scent for the two ounce balms. And then I also got my hands on some of their shave soap. Shave soap goes for $20 for a four ounce container. And so let's jump in as I mentioned, this stuff is super strong, kicks you in the nose. I should probably say punches you in the nose since I got the fist going. You don't want to see me get my legs up here and pull that high kick. All right, so let's go into the different scents here. Let's first go and I'll show you the oils. Ingredients are going to be medium chain triglycerides, organic castor oil, organic Moringa oil, organic marula oil, frankincense essential oil, organic hemp oil, ginger essential oil, and coriander essential oil. So some oils we're not used to seeing in beard products there. Let me go ahead and get up close. Now, one gripe I have, um, I love the fact so all of their bottles have the exact same label on them, and they have these little hang tags to tell you the different scent. And then on the back, I mean, this is really nice. The way they've done this is really top quality. My only gripe with this little tag, while it's very cool, when I'm pouring the oil out, I often find it gets in the way. Um, so might advise you to take those off, but if you've got multiple scents like I do, it's kind of hard to tell, you know, what you got going on. So the first one we're going to take a look at is Black Desert. Here we got Black Desert. And so... Black Desert is inspired by Gorgeous by Killian Black. It's, I read that wrong. It is Gorgeous by Killian Black Phantom. Got all my notes here. Uh, it's a gourmet treat of sensuality and passion. Dark chocolate notes decorated with roasted coffee are joined by slightly boozy caramel drizzle, creating a stunning final aromatic picture that will leave you dizzy and breathless. Be warned, people will be magnetically drawn to you when you wear this masterpiece. So that's their marketing for this. So the notes on this are going to be rum, caramel, dark chocolate, and coffee. These are very, very exquisite scents. This is... To me, this kind of smells like a dark, spicy rum. You don't get an alcohol bite there. You get that caramel from the rum kind of this was a good one this was a just a very laid back this very warming this sounds like something you would wear by a, a warm fire kind of you get a little bit of the chocolate and a hint of the coffee it's not overly coffee it just kind of adds to the sophistication sophistication all right that is black desert that is a good one next up we have apophysis and so Apothesis is Oud, Fruity, Floral, and Ambergris. And so 
apophysis is inspired by Zerjoff's more than words will transport you to the lofty realms of pleasure and delight. <laughs> a dark and pungent oud is offset with sweet dried fruits, light floral accords, and a touch of creamy ambergris to provide a soft hue that envelops you in warmth, not for the faint of heart. It's the smell of confident determination. And so, as I mentioned, the notes are oud, fruity notes, floral notes, and ambergris. This is a nice mellow one. The, you really get a lot of floral in this. It's just very, it's on the sweeter side. Um, you kind of get those floral and fruity notes, kind of the top notes that hit me. And the oud just kind of mellows things out. This is one I actually liked as well. That's ah, a good one. It is strong though, man. I'm just, it, my nose is kind of giving me a, a little bit of a headache just smelling it just like that. And that's with, with some of these, as I mentioned, they are so strong. Now, there was one scent, um, the next scent I'll actually talk to you about, where I put it on, I put the oil and the balm on, I was getting ready to go kiss my wife goodbye in the morning before work, and she was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, I could smell you coming down the stairs. What is that? It's way too strong. Um, so be wary of that. Some of these are very, very strong. The one I was just smelling, it, it kind of hurts my nose for a little bit. You kind of definitely will go nose blind pretty quick with these. Um, but again, these are, you walk in the room, everyone's going to be like, you know, what is that smell? And so if that's your thing, go for it. Sphinx is a great company. The oil quality is awesome. It's a, a good light to medium weight oil. Um, next up, we'll talk about La Frankenstein. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but I'm going to go with it. Uh, La Frankenstein is inspired by Creed's best-selling Aventus, popping with juicy pineapple and fruity black currant, balanced with smoky birch and soft musk, and rounded out with that classic Creed ambergris. You'll feel like a king among men when you wear this scent. And so the notes on this bad boy are going to be... Fruity notes, citrus, aromatic, and salty. So it's pineapple, birch, musk, black currant, currant and ambergris. Whew. This is a strong one. This straight up smells like cologne. This was the one I wore and my wife was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I like the scent. I would like the scent at about a six, six and a half. What's in this bottle right now is like a 15. I mean, this is straight coming out the bottle, uppercut. Um, it is a nice scent though. It's just very, very strong. And so the first hour or two, three hours, it's really, really strong and kind of burns and hurts my nose a little bit. But um, it is what it is. If you like strong scents, go for it. Um, the last one here was my favorite. This is Smolder. Um, Smolder here is let's see smolder is an original creation that burns low and hot with an intoxicating blend of dark oud roasted coffee and sensuous leather a bit of sweet saffron soft jasmine and creamy vanilla add a rich softness to the bouquet this is a fragrance that begs for a close encounter so the notes on this one are going to be oud coffee leather saffron jasmine tonka bean vanilla 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 and sandalwood and that all creates, oh, this is a good one. This is my favorite of the bunch. Oh, it's just, this is a, uh... this reminds me of my younger days when I lived up in DC and we'd go out clubbing on Friday and Saturday nights. What was the big club we went to downtown DC? What was it called? Like Love or Heart or something? I don't know. It was this huge club. This reminds me of the smell of all the dudes in there. It's just an overly, it's smooth. It's smooth, manly. It's definitely a PM scent. This is something you'd want to wear out on a good date with your significant other. I like Smolder. Smolder is a great, great scent. This would be my recommendation out of the four that I have to try would be Smolder. Um, and then we got the beard balm. Let's talk about the beard balm. So consistency wise on these, it's a medium consistency. Um, very smooth, doesn't leave a ton on your hands afterwards. And then the beard balms are gonna have, 
your ingredients here. So ingredients on the balms are organic sunflower oil, organic olive oil, castor jelly, candelilla wax, mango butter, kokum butter, poppy oil, red raspberry oil, cranberry oil, frankincense essential oil, ginger essential oil, coriander essential oil, sweet almond oil, avocado oil, bees oil, or beeswax, shea butter, and rice bran oil and vitamin E oil. So a lot in here. Um, this is just like a standard light whole balm. It smells exactly the same, I'll show you. And it comes right out and melts down nice and smooth. Not a ton of hold to it. It does have good conditioning properties. Um, I actually didn't use a ton of their balm, um, but it did work well. It, it's not, definitely not gonna hold your flyaways down by any means. It is gonna give you a nice, um, nice soft beard overall. Very, very nice. Now, probably some of my favorite things I've actually used of theirs is their shaving soap. And so I use this to shave my head and I got it in two cents. Oh, that's good. And so I kind of did this probably, I know it's the back ass words way to use this stuff. I know you're supposed to use a shaving, like a boar's hair brush or badger hair and get that whole lather going. I'm in a hurry in the morning, so I just take a scoop with my finger, rub between my hands as hard as I can and get a good lather on my head. It works. It smells wonderful. So this is the choke cherry. And listen to this description. I'm just going to put this up here. Choke cherry is a beautiful explosion of cherries inspired by Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Black cherry accords are mixed with cherry syrup and cherry liqueur, topped off with bitter almonds to provide a sweet and boozy accord like an after-dinner cocktail. A bit of added tonka bean rounds out the scent profile to perfection, and you will soon find yourself addicted to this delightful scent. That is the truth. I love shaving with this. It, to me, it's just very exquisite. It just smells really good. You get that cherry almond scent. It's a very, very nice scent. I also got Ecstasy. And so Ecstasy here, it's refreshing aroma inspired by Rojo Dove's Elysium. Fresh and juicy grapefruit combined with sleek, sweet black currant and lemon provides a zip and zing, while the earthy vetiver and creamy ambergris give a solid footing to this gorgeous scent. There is nothing quite like ecstasy, as you will soon discover. Not sure what type of ecstasy they're talking about. But, no, this stuff is good. Definitely get that lemon. It's a little bit, whew, like the zing. It's good. It does have plenty of zip and zing, though. I didn't use this one as much. I've definitely favored the choke cherry, but I need to, do need to use this a little bit more. This is good stuff, though. All right, guys. There you have it. If you are into knock them out strong scented beard products, Sphinx Beard is for you. I would definitely advise you to check them out. Check out all their scents. They've got a bunch. A lot of them are cologne inspired. They've got a few originals as well, but all good stuff. I would have no hesitation recommending this company. I would just leave an asterisk there and say, I hope you like strong scents. If you are somebody that likes a softer, mellower scent where your significant other uh, is the only person that can smell it when they get close to you, this is not the company for you. This is a company for the guy that wants to walk in the room and everybody turns their heads like, what's that smell? It smells good. Uh, but it is a very, very strong scented uh, company. So as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. God bless you. And we'll talk soon. Take care.